too. Where'd the Duesenberg come from? You know, this was something that my wife, oh man, way back when, way before we had kids or anything, she, um, uh, you know, I had a saying, I still have it, modern technology with that old-fashioned touch. And a Duesenberg is the old-fashioned touch, if you sit and think about it. It is something someday I will own. I will own a Duesenberg. They're, they're rather expensive. But when you see a Duesenberg, you see the, 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 the best of the best. And, and to me, a Duesenberg, which I have right there in that little glass thing, represents the best of the best. And I am the best of the best, and that's why we use the Duesenberg. That's just me. You know, I, I'm, I'm very proud of, someday I'll own one. I think a Duesenberg is a car cherished by a lot of people. They, they wish they had the money for a Duesenberg. I mean, I mean, a Duesenberg is a, I mean, a, when you can get a Duesenberg, I think you hit the. I think you're at the top. You're at the Everest, man. You're, you're Mount Everest right there. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're at the top. Yeah. There's no doubt. And to me, <coughs> then you got Bill Ford to insure the darn thing after you <laughs> buy one. So, but that's where the Duesenberg come up from. You know, just a classic. Uh, they're classy. It's it's a classy car. It's got class. It's got. It take, took a lot of talent to do it, and it's just not something you see every day. 